Hi, I'm Nick. This time I'm gonna introduce family relationships related words. The first one is ancestors, 祖先, ancestors, 祖先. We add an S to like plurals, plural forms. If you don't add this, it will be only one. And the same, re relatives, 亲戚, relatives, 亲戚. Also, parents. If you didn't ask, if you didn't add the S, it will be only one, like father or mother. So it, but we add S, so it will be 双亲, 父母亲. And next one is grandparents. Grand. We add a grand to specifically means 祖父母, 祖父母. And mother-in-law, in-law, because they are not really their your mother, right? So, 岳父, 岳母 is father-in-law, mother-in-law. Next one is spouse, 配偶. And teenager, teenager, age. And ER means the person, right? So, ager, teen. Teen means 13 to 19 because 13, they have a teen. 19, they have a teen in there. So, teenager, 13 to 19, the 青少年. <coughs> And next one, respect. We always want to respect others and want others to respect us, right? 尊重, 尊重. Next one, we don't want to have a conflict. Conflict, 争执, 争执. And we, we have agreement and disagreement in relationships, right? 同意和不同意. And we also don't want to have a quarrel with others. 争吵, 争吵. But we will apologize later on, right? Apologize. 道歉, 道歉. And when we apologize, we make up later. We 和好, 我们和好. But if someone is nagging, always nagging. Nagging means 不断的唠叨, 记得是不断的, 它一直持续不断的, 一直烦你, 一直, 一直弄你, nagging. Then maybe you will have a silent treatment. 冷战，你对他不理不睬，你都不理他，冷战。Silent treatment. So that's all for today. See ya.